What's up guys, Joe here for Gamer Toys and welcome back to another pickup episode. Let's do some mail. First one. So we got some more TMNT. Shout out to Retro Toy Envy. This is some more figures that I picked up off of their Instagram sale. Link them down below again. Go check them out if you haven't. So the first figure here is none other than Triceraton. This is a good looking figure. This is another figure that I had, but I did not have the belt. Mine is just a little more beat up than this one. So this is definitely an upgrade. It's a Triceratops, you can't go wrong. He comes with two ginormous blue guns. The paint is pretty good on this guy. There's a little scuff on the leg, but other than that, I mean, that's, that's nothing for me. The fact that he has his belt and he has the accessories, perfect. It's just a great looking Triceratops wearing some crazy metallic armor and green pants. Can't really beat it. All right, here we have Panda Khan. I believe his name is Panda Khan. Definitely remember having this one as a kid. He comes with the battle axe, which has some crazy amount of detail on it. Awesome. It's kind of weird. It comes with a gun because he's like a samurai, but he has a gun. I don't know. Comes with a katana and whatever this weapon's called. I feel like I used to know what this weapon was called, and now I don't, and I'm blanking on it, so this is 1990. It's just a crazy Panda Samurai. It's pretty awesome. I remember having uh, Panda Khan and the Super Samurai Leo were uh, best buds during my Ninja Turtle playtime, so can't beat it, especially with all of his accessories. He's going to look great up on the shelf. Next one. This one right here was a eBay pickup. Roland Timbo figure from Jurassic Park, or from the Lost World Jurassic Park. This is a great figure, and he's complete. Comes with his little knife, this crazy contraption here, which I don't remember exactly what it was called, and a packy hatchling. Now, Roland Timbo is an awesome looking figure. He's got like this crazy looking dragon face on his clothes, I don't know. He looked nothing like this in the movie, and that's okay. Uh, this is just a repaint. Or it's not a repaint, but it's a reuse of the Sergeant T-Rex Turner head. They re-sculpted the head to have no hair to match the actor in the film. I mean, who are we kidding? I'm definitely going to be hunting down the other head variant. I'm just now starting to kind of devote a little more time into completing the Lost World uh, action figures. And uh, Roland Timbo seemed like a great next step. This is just awesome Kenner right here. I mean, but this thing, this thing's crazy. Look at this thing. It's taller than he is. And I want to say there's a way he can hold it. You know what, actually that's pretty sweet because that's going to help him stand up. And then he comes with this little hatchling, which is great. Great use of paint there. I love the Jurassic Park and I love the Lost World toy line. Next one! Bubble wrap, man. It's crazy. Continuing along with that Jurassic Park theme, I have another Lost World figure here. And that is Nick Van Owen, who was played by Vince Vaughn in the film. Now there's multiple variations of this figure. This is the light brown version of the figure with the hat that's non-removable. There's a version of him without the hat and you can get two different uh, shades of brown on the boots and the vest and stuff. So there's a couple of variants to track down with him which will be fun. He comes with a reuse and a repaint of the same accessory that came with Dennis Nedry in the series one of the Jurassic Park line which is just you know, you put water in here and you can squeeze it. Then he comes with what I'm assuming is a crazy video camera. It's like a video camera gun, which is pretty sweet, which I guess is what you would need if you were uh, taking video of dinosaurs. And then he comes with a pterodactyl hatchling. This one is a different sculpt from the one that came with Alan Grant. I'm surprised they didn't reuse that one. I like the colors, the blue and the tan. He stands up great. And then we'll just slap his backpack on here. I'm always nervous putting these uh, these backpacks and stuff on these figures because, man, this plastic, these little tabs, if they rip, it's lights out. This one actually went on really easy. So this is Nick Van Owen. Uh, looks nothing like Vince Vaughn, but the paint on this guy is great. This came from a, another Jurassic Park collector. There's barely any paint loss. The only figure that I've picked up at the stores recently, and that is from uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and that's the Yoda figure. Now I'm fairly certain that Yoda is not going to appear in The Last Jedi, so this isn't a figure in this line because he's in the movie, it's just included. Um, there was also a Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. I just grabbed Yoda because Yoda is one of my favorite characters, and the vintage Yoda from the Kenner line is probably in my top 
three favorite vintage Star Wars figures, if not number one, they kind of flip flop. Comes with the cane and a little lightsaber, but the face sculpt on this guy is great. I'll have a picture included so you can see what I'm talking about if you guys haven't seen this figure, but the face sculpt is great. So yeah, these are my pickups guys. We got some Lost World figures, some vintage TMNT, and a Last Jedi Yoda figure. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.